Okay, got lots of glassware this time around. It's kind of my go-to thing. I love buying it. Um, so right up front here, we have some really cool glasses. And these are like Dorothy, Dorothy, Dorothy Thorpe style. And they're just so flipping cool. Like, I don't know. When I seen these, I about fell over. So I paid for this bundle, this bundle, and this bundle. There's eight, eight, and eight. I paid, um, where is it? Foo, what? Four dollars. Four dollars. Is that right? Yes, that is correct. Four, four, four dollars. So one thing that is different than uh, how I originally got it is I had this uh, caddy on hand. I have a caddy corner, a corner caddy with caddies on the corner. And I just pick them up as I see them. You know, sometimes I run across a, a caddy with no glasses and I'll pay a dollar or whatever for it. And so I think it really just helps, helps it along. So I put these tall ones in this caddy here. I think it's really cool. And um, so for this set here, I'll just show you, look at that nice, there I am. There's a really nice, just silver fade effect on here. Ooh. And um, very, very clean. Now, okay, so I expect to sell this right here. Where'd my paper go? Aha. For 70 to $80. Um, the caddy really helps the price along. Uh, without the caddy, probably 60 for sure. But I think I can spring for 80 with the caddy and just kind of set and wait for someone to buy it. Cause it's a perfect addition to a bar, uh, like a home bar. And then we have the little shot glasses to match. They're very cool. And I expect to sell those for about $40. And then we have the, on the rock, the scotch, the low ball glasses and those sell for about 50 to $60. Okay. Oh yeah. All right, all right. I'm so excited. So this was just a dream, you know, got, the, got the, um, these glasses and then they had starburst glasses. So like some of the hardest things to find all at one place. Love that when it happens. Okay. So these are the starburst glasses. I've sold some exactly like this, except these are the slightly shorter versions of those. And, um, who are they made by? They're made by M-16. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, so yeah, really cool. And I expect to sell them for probably $60, $10 a glass. Yeah, I think so. And then we got more glasses right there. Another set of six. And my research tells me these are called Salem Maple Leaf. I don't know what that means exactly. I haven't really looked into it that much, but they're dirty. They need to be washed. And um, for the set of six here, I expect to sell them for about 35 to $40. All right. They had a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of salt and pepper shakers, but they were going nuts with them. They, they, okay. If you didn't know it was an auction, you'd think it was an antique mall the way they were doing it. They were um, doing, oh, well, I'm just not gonna get into it. The, the salt and pepper shakers were selling for anywhere between $4 and $20 a piece. So that was just bonkers. So I, I liked this one cause I thought it would look cute on the bar downstairs, but I ended up paying um, $5 for it. And then these little fish were kind of an accident. I had to buy them for $4. They, it's an accident because there was another salt and pepper shaker that was like in the shape of little shakes, like um, milkshakes next to each other. Well, I picked them up to make my choice and the, the ice cream top that was plastic like completely cracked and just fell apart. It disintegrated as I picked it up. So I set that one right back down and I had to find another choice. So I just grabbed this little um, fish and they are Japan. And uh, 
yeah, hopefully they sell. I will sell the fish and I'll probably keep these guys. I looked these up. These go for about $12 online. Not as much as I would have thought, but they're not that old. They're probably from the 80s. Um, they're made in Thai. Hong, they're made in Hong Kong. But, uh, yeah. Um, found this little guy, which is awesome. I uh, have the bigger bowl for no reason. It's right over here. Right there. I have the bigger bowl. There's the dog right there. Hi. How do you do? Okay. So I found this little guy. It came actually with, uh, it came with like uh, some other glasses. I think it came with, came with these because they had like junk and they kept adding things and they finally added these and then I bid. So I got this for free, but it's a smaller one. And then what else? Got those uh, ap um, tablecloths for a dollar for all of them. So um, I didn't really look them over before I got there. I got there kind of late, like five minutes, and then it started. This one's kind of stained, so, um, but it's cool. But then this one is perfect without any stains. I'm not going to really open these up. They're kind of a pain. has flowers on it, and so it's nice. And then I think this one's pretty good too. It has like the blue border all around it. It's really nice. And then this one's really cute. I love the tropical palm trees and the, um, what do you call those? Coconuts. Matches my, uh, what do you call those? Um, pineapples. Is that right? Pineapples, yeah. <laughs> Matches those. Actually, this one looks very similar to the other, but it's not. And then I got this one. Those things keep rattling. Um, so I paid a dollar for all of these. How fun. They'll probably go in the booth. And um, yeah. Now, I also wanted to include in this haul, since I didn't really spotlight them in the first one where I had all those crazy things, is these swizzle sticks. And um, I got some really cool Playboy um bunny swizzle sticks these are ones are all white and i say the playboy club and then this is a set of like four white and four black of the same thing and um i forget i i looked really quickly like what these were going for i think like this mini would be like 12 dollars. same thing with if i made them all white so i don't know what do we got here at least 20 to $30 in Playboy. And then we got these really cool TWA ones. I assume that's for the airplane. And um, those are cool. One says Hong Kong, USA, Africa, and India. Neat, neat, neat. And then these ones here are little eagles and they say, for good taste, say Corby's, set of three. And then we've got a little Bevo mill. This is St. Louis, yeah, since 1917, St. Louis. And then this one I'll throw probably. It's a hustler club, which is just a, like a strip club. And then we've got Seagram's. So, hey, you're messing everything up. Okay, and then we've got Seagram's seven. And then Brass Lantern says, and they're not brass or gold. They're, wouldn't that make more sense if these were actually just gold? And um, I don't know if these are really anything, actually. They're, it's probably like a local bar or something. And then got all these cute little cupcake uh, thingies. And um, so I'll probably put those away until Christmas time and sell them. I don't make cupcakes, really. I guess I could, but I don't. Yeah, so there's all these little cupcake sticky things that you stick in. Um, yeah, I don't know what these go for. Probably 12 to $15. I don't know. That's what I think. That's it. That's all. That's everything. Um, not a whole lot. I went to that auction. It was about four hours. No, yeah. Four hours long. I left early. I got there at nine wait 10 9 10 11 12 uh, yeah about three and a half hours or so 
And uh, I left. They were, you know, I left and they were still doing salt and pepper shakers for $5 a piece, which, you know, I, well, I can't really do that. That I would not be able to make hardly any money. So there apparently were just a lot of collectors there that were just buying them. And it was insane in the membrane. Well, that's everything. Let me know in the comments below what you thought was cool or great or wonderful or grand. And... Uh, like or dislike um, and what else is there to do mm, subscribe I need a thousand subscribers because um, I'm very close actually I'm about almost at 600 uh, where am I yeah or 600 yeah I'm almost at 600 600 and once I get to a thousand then I can actually start making like five dollars a month on YouTube Right now I'm making zero dollars a month, but I could probably start making five dollars or ten, maybe twenty if I really pu push the pedal to the metal. <laughs> um, but that's cool anyway. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.